So Tesla just updated their whole UI. You probably saw a lot of coverage of it if you're watching a lot of Tesla videos. And they also added this boombox feature. So if you go over into your toy box, you'll see the boombox in there. And basically all this does is play sounds outside of the pedestrian speaker. And they've got a lot of fun sounds that are kind of built in here. Uh, I can pre preview some of those. We'll play a little snake jazz. Yeah, so you can play fun sounds out of the car and you've got a bunch of them preloaded here, but you can also add custom sounds in here, which I haven't seen many people talk about. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. And you actually do that with your Sentry Mode disc. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my whole compartment here and grab out my Sentry Mode uh, drive here. Okay, I spent probably like a half hour trying to go through this and figure it out all in my car, but it's actually a bit more complicated. So we're gonna hop into my office and get it figured out. So the drive I am using is this SanDisk Extreme Pro 250 gigabyte model. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that into the computer. Keep in mind, this is a Mac OS tutorial, but there are a lot of PC ones out there. So I'll have some of those linked down below. So once I plugged in my external drive, you'll see it pops up. It's called Tesla Cam. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and just copy over any files I wanna save that were sentry mode clips or dash can clips or anything like that, make sure you copy those over to somewhere safe that you'll remember so that you can copy them back on after you're done. So once that is complete, we'll go ahead and open up disk utility. And this is where we're actually gonna partition the drive so that you can have both boombox sounds and your Tesla cam on the same hard drive. You want to plug in separate ones to get those fun sounds. So once you're in disk utility, you're gonna to want to go into this view and make sure you check show all devices. So this will actually show what device you have plugged in, not just this partition you've already got created probably. So I've got the SanDisk Extreme SSD and the volume on there is the Tesla cam. So now that that is done, we actually wanna erase this. We've already copied over all of our folders uh, and all the files we wanna save. And to erase it, we're just gonna click on erase right here and we will just rename this as Tesla since it'll have both our boombox and our sentry mode and dash cam clips on there. Our format we want is Mac OS extended and journaled in parentheses. In our scheme, we want to be GUID partition map. So we'll then click erase there. It'll run through that and erase everything for us. And it is complete, so we'll hit done. So now this volume is created and what we're gonna do from there is actually partition it now. So we'll go back to our SanDisk, click partition, and we're gonna to wanna to create two volumes here, one for the Tesla cam and one for Boombox. So first one I'm gonna name Tesla cam and we're gonna leave it as this Mac OS extended. And we're gonna change the size to 249 gigabytes just so we have a little bit of room for our Boombox now. So our untitled here, is gonna be our boom box. Gonna leave this as Mac OS extended format and we'll change the size down to 0.5 gigabytes. I think that's more than enough space to hold whatever music or whatever else you want on here. I've got a pretty big drive too, so I'm not too worried about losing any additional space. So those are all created now and we'll go ahead and hit apply there and this will create both of those partitions for us. So we'll click partition here and that is complete, so we'll hit done. And you'll probably notice up here now, I've got two drives popping up here. So even though I've only got one drive plugged in, my Mac is recognizing it as two separate drives and your car is gonna do the same thing. So to finish this up, the only final thing we have to do is these are currently formatted as Mac OS extended and we need those in the MS-DOS FAT32 format so that your car is actually able to read it. Use a little, uses something different to read it, so we've got a convert it to that. So to change that, we'll just go back into partition. We'll just start with the Tesla cam here and we'll change this to the MS-DOS FAT format. And the reason we had to do the other format first is when you switch over to this, you're not able to adjust the size. So you have to uh, partition it first in that other format and then convert it to this MS-DOS format later. So we'll hit that and we'll go over to make this the MS-DOS FAT version as well. So we'll hit apply and that will change both these partitions. It's gonna erase them again and kind of reformat them. So we'll hit partition again. Okay, so we're all done there. 
And as you can see, now we've got the Tesla cam as this MS dot format, and we've got the boombox as this MS dot format. So now that those are complete, we can go ahead and close this. We've got both of our drives popping up here. Our Tesla cam we can open up and we can drag whatever files we have saved, make sure it's still in this Tesla cam folder. We'll just drag those back over to the Tesla cam right here. And then we'll open up our Boombox folder and we'll create a new folder called Boombox. And once that's created, you can drag over whatever custom sounds you want into this folder. So I've got some saved already right here. So I'm just gonna click and drag those into my Tesla folder now. So we should be all set. We can bring this back down to the car, plug it in and check out these sounds. Just gotta make sure that you safely eject all of these. So when you eject them, it'll actually prompt you saying that there are two volumes on this disc. So I usually just hit eject all, both those will go away and we can unplug our drive and go check it out in the car. Okay, so we're back in the car now. I'm gonna go ahead and put my sentry mode drive back in. And as soon as I plug it in, you'll see now that my USB uh, Tesla cam logo is popping up. That means I can use the dash cam. I've got the USB tab on my music um, music app here. So I've got all the songs that I dragged over, all the media files I dragged over. So if we go back to the toy box and open up the boom box, now we should see those custom sounds showing up to play either as the horn, as the um, as a driving sound, any of those. So. We're gonna go ahead and give those a shot and see how they sound. Roll the windows down a little bit. Hopefully you guys can hear. So we'll, we'll start with uh, just a little electricity. Okay, we've got the Jetsons. We'll play that as a driving sound actually. That's probably a good driving sound. We've got uh, the purge sound. I thought that this one was pretty funny. And then we've got run. And so I dragged over five files, but for some reason only four of them are showing up. The one I'm missing is the Among Us Crisis uh, sound. And I'm wondering if it might be too long. I'm not sure what the, or not long enough, I guess. So I'm gonna have to go back and check out what's wrong with that file, but. So anyway, that is how to get uh, custom sounds onto your boombox using your existing Sentry drive. I think it's much easier than trying to get two USB flash drives and try to find places to plug them in, especially because there's only two ports down there. Uh, and a lot of people have wireless chargers and other things plugged in. But anyway, that will do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see any future Tesla software videos or videos about my car or just electric vehicles in general, definitely let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.